Yes, so, 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 man. Guys, you guys are amazing, you know that, right? You guys are amazing, you know that, right? You guys are amazing, you know that, right? All right, anyway, I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> Finish our intro. Yes. Yes, sir, yes, sir, we back with another video. Uh, comment down below what your favorite fruit is. My favorite fruit is watermelon and yes. pear. Watermelon and pears, and apples are good, too. Because we're black. But, uh, anyway, without further ado, if you guys are new to the channel, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel because we come out, we straight bangers. Bangers. And we stay lit on our channel. Let's go. Anyways, we're going to be reacting to the Stradman. Okay, I'm sorry, go ahead. The Stradman. We're going to be reacting to the Stradman, guys. And it's gonna show his full collection of his cars. Whoa, if you're a fan of cars, then you came to the right place. Yes, you came to the right place. He like cars. I, I do. Right, I, I like houses. I'm more of a house person. Yeah, I'm a car person. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's go! Like that? We're back, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, good. welcome back to the channel good. and welcome back Dude, to the vlog. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys cars. have seen Ed Boyan on VinWiki, his video appraising my mm. car collection. Well, today, boys, we're going to react to that video. We're also going to appraise mm. the cars myself. Oh, we'll back. Oh, now, I have way too, too many cars. We have nine here at the house, right? the C8's in Park City, the Countach's in Miami, the Gallardo's in Chicago, and I got four more at the warehouse. We're going to go car by car. We're going to do an appraisal of each car. I kind of nerd out. I kind of geek out on this thing because there's nothing cooler in the world than supercars as investments. It's not an exact science. Obviously, there's some personal bias. So Ed Bullion, he did the same thing. He went car by car. Some I think he actually overvalued. Some I think he undervalued. It's a gorgeous day. We're going to start right on now. Now that this is, is purely for girl. fun. The values we're giving to these cars, they might be right, they might be wrong. It doesn't really like matter, but first off for is my 2016 oh my Lamborghini Aventador Roadster oh Pirelli God. Edition. It has a 1 of 50 Liberty Walk Limited Maybe. Edition wide body kit. <laughs> no. It has a custom Rosa Cantus paint job, and of course that $50,000 white custom interior. Wow. Now Ed valued this car at $350,000. Ed, what are you doing? 350000 Ed, Ed! This car is priceless, priceless. You can't put a value on this car. Obviously, all jokes aside, this car is very hard to value because it means so much to me. It's also a salvage title. This car rear-ended a police car at 4 a.m. in downtown oh, no. Chicago. I have so much money, I have so much time, so much love into this car. This car is also you dedicated to my dad. Me. I will never Cup sell this car no matter okay. what. Honestly, Ed at $350,000, <clears> I think he's very, very close. We're gonna say 400K just because I love it. Now, next up, my 2013 Ferrari 458 Spider with a custom Liberty Walk wide body kit, custom painted Lamborghini ad personum Viola Parsifal. That's right, a Lamborghini color on a Ferrari. Now, Ed valued the 458 at $250,000. He also particularly said that this color scheme with the wide body kit wasn't quite his favorite, and I could see that for a lot of Ferrari guys. It's a Lamborghini painted Ferrari with a wide body kit. Ferrari guys don't like that stuff. She sounds amazing though. Not that that necessarily enhances the value, but it makes it that much cooler. I'm gonna say 265,000. This is probably the hardest car to value in the entire fleet. This is my 2003 Lamborghini Murcielago 40th anniversary finish in Verde Artemis. It's a gated manual transmission. If you guys know the market on manual mercies, it is skyrocketing. Just look at this color, Verde Artemis. Lamborghini doesn't make cars like this. Would you just look at it? Now, Ed valued this car at $450,000. When it comes to Mercy Lagos, Ed is probably the smartest man in the entire world. He says 450, I say 450. Psych Ed, it's 600K. I'm just kidding. Now, next up is my 2020 Ram TRX. I bought this baby in Alaska. Now, Ed valued it at $110,000. No, really? I'm more so. I think that's overvalued. I think I can get $95,000 for this. It's not for sale. It's Oscar's truck. So, if you want to buy it, you're going to have to talk to the marshmallow. Next up, we have my 2019 Lamborghini Urus. Now, Ed valued the Urus at $250,000. You guys know I'm trying to sell this for $300,000. 
I stand behind that valuation. If you get online, so you look at here that have man, more miles that aren't as nice of a spec, they're asking he upwards of three hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> this has the rear TVs, it has the rear bucket Would seats, the it has just now? over eight thousand miles. Mm. It's for sale for three hundred grand. That's on this car, the, thing, the like market's gonna decide, but I reckon three hundred K. And next up, definitely my most depends valuable is, car, yeah. maybe the most controversial car I own, my two thousand eight Bugatti Veyron. Now underneath the wrap, it is a gorgeous bluish silver gray. This car has twenty four thousand miles, which in Veyron world is a lot of miles but it's not That's like unheard of money. i know of a veyron with thirty-one thousand miles on it i know a veyron vitesse with fifty-five thousand miles on it so it's not like it's a deal breaker and nobody's going to touch this car the car is also fully serviced since 2008 i have service records every single year since 2008 i've even paid for the service in 2023 that goes with the car now ed valued this car at 1.1 million dollars now veyrons are really hard to Which value is, yeah. we're going to look at comparables last year june 2021 bring a trailer 2008 black black veyron 8,000 miles sold for one million five hundred and seventy five thousand mm, dollars mm. eight thousand miles twenty four thousand miles a not a direct Jesus. comparison but it's the only veyron that sold within the last year Dang. that i'm aware of i'm gonna say one million two hundred thousand dollars now Boy. would i sell this car to someone right now for one million two hundred thousand dollars no because i actually think it's worth more there's just not a lot of comparisons i've been wrong before i'll be wrong again i'm probably wrong on this but that's what i'm going with one million two hundred thousand dollars and next up old reliable the winner beater my 2012 lamborghini aventador this car has 29,000 miles on it we have done everything in this car we put tank tracks on this we did donuts with the doors up with That's snow going in like crazy. Pictures, Ed said this was worth $250,000. I don't know if there's anybody in the world that would pay $250,000 for this car, but the market is as such. I'm gonna say $249,999. And next up, oh, the Porsche yeah. 911 oh, yeah, 964 Porsche. Safari. That's, I forgot Honestly, about that. this is probably the hardest car to value. Oh, Ed said $200,000, and it's hard for me to argue that, but the attention to detail on this car, you got to see it in person. There's carbon fiber everywhere. The interior is incredible. Like, no details left untouched by Kelly Moss Racing. They mm. built, quite arguably, the best Safari Porsche in the entire world. It's got just over 58,000 miles. Now, I'm selling this Safari on Bring a Trailer in a couple weeks, and I guess that'll be the true test of what the market is, because I could see some Porsche collector paying 350,000 for this. I could also see it going for 150. We're going to say $220,000. Obviously, I'm making that up on the spot because I'm, I'm not an expert. I own the car, but yeah, $220,000. Mm. And of course, up next, my yeah, 2020 Jeep Gladiator yeah, Hellosaurus 6x6. Six mm. We have a Hellcat engine. We have three Curry one ton axles. We have 42 inch truck. tires. Now, Ed valued this at $150,000. There was a 2012 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited 6x6 that honestly wasn't that well built. It sold for a hundred and fifty at Barrett Jackson in Scottsdale. There was another Gladiator 6x6 that was pretty nice that sold for $238,000. I think mine is the nicest of the group. I'm gonna say $225,000. I think there could be a buyer on this for two hundred fifty dollars but we're gonna go conservative, two twenty-five. dollars Now we're here at the warehouse, and up next we have my Ferrari factory race car. You guys know this car is an absolute banshee. Ed valued this at $120,000. I actually think that's an overvaluation. If somebody wants to buy this for one twenty, dollars you got yourself a deal. I'm gonna say $75,000. And up next we have my 2021 Polaris Razor. First day, I rolled this with 17 miles on the odometer. It's caked in mud, we're gonna say $30,000. We have my 97 Toyota Super Turbo. Ed said $100,000. Supervisor through the roof, I'm gonna say $100,000. Rusty Wallace's NASCAR, that's not mine. Now up next, my 2017 Nissan GTR, yep, the GTR. bug killer. I think, Ed, this might have been your biggest miss. I know Nissan GTRs are not your thing, but a built <laughs> Nissan GTR with this kind of power, we have 1,565 wheel horsepower, 1,800 crank horsepower. The market for these cars is through the roof. I guarantee, without hesitation, without doubt, I could sell this car for $190,000, maybe $200,000, maybe even more, but we're going to stick $190,000. Now, of course, we're still missing the CA Corvette, the Gallardo, and the Countach. So the CA Corvette, Pandem Widebody, has like 5,000 miles. Really cool spec, rapid blue on blue interior. Ed appraised that at $120,000. Now, generally speaking, as cool as widebody kits are, they don't actually enhance value. Sometimes they detract from value. We're going to say it's right about even. I'm going to say $110,000. And of course, we have the OG, my 2006 gated Lamborghini Gallardo hey. being twin turbocharged at B-Rogue built. Now, the car does have higher miles, roughly 50,000 miles. Okay. Generally speaking, kind of like wide body kits, twin turbo kits don't enhance value. Maybe a little bit, but probably not the money I put into the kit. I'm not going to necessarily get out of the kit. Ed said $140,000. I think that's a very fair analysis. We're going to stick with $140K. And last, but certainly not least, I've never 
even driven this car. We have my 1987 Lamborghini Countach 5000 QV, mm. white on white. Damn, Such a bro. desirable spec. I'm so glad that I got it when I did. Now, Ed valued this car at $550,000, but in the same video, John Tamarian, who's probably sold more Countach than anybody bro. else on Planet Earth, he valued the car at $720,000. Now, the Countach is in Miami. Wow. It's gonna be back here in Utah Are so soon. We're gonna be driving that car so soon. I'm gonna say six, seven. Uh, John says seven twenty. Ed says five fifty. Let's say six twenty five, just because that's more than an that actual car Lambo. One day is gonna be a, a million bucks. One. And yeah, last but certainly not oh, least, how could we actually forget the baby Countach from Agostini? <laughs> the baby Funny one. enough, my 40th anniversary Mercy Lago. There's 50 of those in the world. The Veyron. 50? There's 450 of those mm -hmm. in the world. The Wait. baby Countach. It's the most rare of the entire group. There's only 20 of these in the entire world. Oh, I know this valuation. Wow. You guys can be typing away saying I'm crazy. There was one of these in the Middle East that traded for $60,000. I'm gonna say $40,000. Well, that right there oh, pretty much real wraps real. it up. In the comments below, let me know what you guys think. Fit. Did I miss on every single car? Did I get any of the cars right? Obviously, car values are constantly fluctuating. Oh, what the cars oh, are worth today is isn't the same insane. as what they're gonna be worth in the future. Some of the cars are going up, like the Vera and the Murcielago. Other cars might be going down in value, like the CA Corvette or the Nissan GTR. Also, Hopefully, a car is worth the only GTR what one person is willing to pay for it. I don't need a thousand people to buy the Vera at 1.2 million dollars. I just need one single person. Channel, I also want to give a massive I shout promise. out to Ed Bullion over at Vinwicky, huge buddy of mine. Obviously, I have the utmost respect for everything that he future. does. And I think overall, we were really, really close on all the cars. I also want to thank you guys for all the support. Our 10 year anniversary on YouTube is coming up very, very soon. July of 2022, I've been on YouTube. Hey for 10 years. You guys, I couldn't have done it without you. Uh, on that bombshell, we have one last special celebrity guest appearance. See, the cars are special. These cars have value, but there's one thing in my life that is 100% priceless. He's a marshmallow, he's floofy, he's Oscar. Is that I have marshmallow? more than life itself. And he's not there. Oscar, where are you, bud? Where are you? Why? Oscar, why is he being shy? <laughs> Yeah! You got so big. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, today's video is over. Oh, oh, wait a minute, that's a dog. We're back, baby! Yeah. You guys yeah. thought today's video was over? I got more no. cars, I got cars for days. Check these out, boys. Look at this. Oh. We got a 112 Lamborghini Murcielago valuation. Probably like $1,500. $1,500? $1,500? $99.99. KPMF made me this. And then check out the Gladiator. Pretty dope. Today's video is over. Fifteen hundred dollars for, for a toy car. For a toy car. Are you serious? Oh my gosh, that's. I mean, that's how many subs we have. Essentially, no, it's more than no, what we have. Jeez. Jeez, bro. Oh my gosh. Dang, bro. See, he, he just like he just like I love watching him too because he just makes life fun. Yeah, he, he's really like entertaining to watch. But if you guys want to see more videos like that, please be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace see you out. later.